Well, uh, I think we've got a little problem here on the work site. Someone wrecked the uh, the buzzer blades, and I've got this lip here to plane off. So what can we do? Hello, welcome to another tutorial, and in this one, I give a little solution to my problem on the work site. Can you believe it was actually the foreman who wrecked two buzzers, planers, electric planers? He was uh, planing the bottom plate of the building and ground the concrete twice and wrecked the two buzzers on the site. So I had to come up with a quick bush carpentry solution. Now every good carpenter in their belt should have a chisel. And of course you want it sharp, which it seldom is on the work site with the work that you're doing. So let's sharpen it quickly. Take a block off cut and you're going to find 26 degrees roughly, which is there's 90 degrees, 45, half of that's 22, and back a little bit, and you're going to get about 26 degrees, somewhere around there. And you may have to take into account the handle as well and take that piece out the back. Now you should have some screws on site, so just uh, screw that on there to attach it so that this point here is running on the bench. And then on some sandpaper and a flat surface, you can then use that guy to get it sharper. Which is all the 26 degrees, I think it's supposed to be. Somewhere in there. I used a belt sander as well. It's a lot quicker. Because we had a belt sander on the site. And you want to keep at it until you get rid of that line on the leading edge. Because if you can see that line, it means it's blunt still. Next thing to do is to get a piece of scrap timber, one that is basically as wide as your chisel, and that will be as deep. I might have to split that a little bit so that it's going to go like that to make our chisel into the blade of a plane. And you're going to make a 45 degree cut. Or you can do it on the drop saw, it's a lot quicker. Right. And then you turn one up this way, and the blade is going to go in there. Next thing is you're going to rescue some thin ply from rubbish and make a couple sides. So it's going to be the same width of that. And there we have it, the two sides. Now mark there. Now we are going to need to make a wedge here, going down there. So we're going to have this side, then our chisel, then our wedge, and then I'm going to make a mark around about in the heart, halfway there, which is going to be replicated on the other side so we're going to bore a hole or uh, punch a hole through here with a nail so there we have it so I'm now going to assemble it by putting that on there that on there leaving about half a centimeter to a centimeter gap there that on top then with a bunch of small nails I'm going to nail it on both sides the next thing you're going to do is get like a, a nail nice and fat as fat as you can to go through there and nail it through that hole and out the other side that we measured before. And cut that off with a hacksaw so you don't uh, skewer yourself later. Now when you put your wedge in there you're going to find it's not going to quite get there so we're going to cut the end off that there so that we'll go in like this so that when you put your chisel in there that's going to go in there. It could be a little bit longer I suppose but that's okay. And that will wedge in there, holding that tight in. Now to use it, you're going to put your uh, chisel in there, and then the wedge in, and so that it's just touching the table. Then you're going to knock the wedge in very firmly, right? So that it's not going to move when you start to do that. Now to adjust it, you're going to take it and a hammer. And to make the blade go out, you're going to lightly tap the front end 
of course, me looking at the blade to see how far it's going. Lightly tap it, and it will come out. And to make it go retract, do the back end and tap the back end. And that will adjust it, fine-tuned, so that it will work. So we got the job done, and that's the trad more traditional type of hand plane, but using your chisel as the blade. But I kept on having problems with having to readjust it all the time. It was a little bit finickety because of the wedge coming loose. Occasionally you have to tap it back in, readjust the whole thing, but you can get the job done at a pinch. But I've got a better solution. Uh, if we go back to the screws that we use to sharpen the blade with. And when we cut this block, before putting the sides on, instead of doing the wedge situation, we're going to take the knife and, or the chisel, put it on the bench here, and screw some screws in. Two of them here down below. You can have another two up there if you wish, but two up there, which are your adju fine adjustment. Now, I think flat head uh, or round topped screw heads are quite good because they clamp down, but jib screws will also, or drywall screws will also help to clamp that in there, and it's just so that it can go up and down a bit. Now, on the top end, when I drill my pilot hole, I'm not going to drill straight in 90 degrees, I'm going to go as high angle that way as I can and out on the the shoulder of the chisel there so that the screws will go in as angled as possible. That's so that they go in as steep an angle as you can so that they become our adjusters. You may have to put another couple screw here and here to stop it flipping out but if those ones are tight down there and those also it should be alright. Work for me but you could put another couple there. So it turns out like this, and I chopped the end off here because it's even nicer to push with. And there we have it. I changed this screw from up here and just onto there to give me sideways adjustment and tightness, and I only really think I need one for the adjustment of it up and down. So I put my blade, my um, chisel into there until it's touching the table, and tighten off the screws. Not too tight because I still want to do some adjustment to the depth of the blade, just sort of snug so it'll hold it and then we can adjust it. It's a little too much, let's screw that out just a tad. It's a bit better. And when you get it nice to where you want to, then tighten your screws off so it's not going to shift. And now to test it. Yes, it's working fine. So there we are, a hand plane using your chisel. So, when you go into the bush, or out into the jungle or somewhere, you only have to take your chisel with you and you can make that. Or on the building site, if your boss goes and wrecks the buzzer blades. Have fun with it.